What day is it? It's Tuesday, which means it's time for a tutorial. And today we were going to do how to take out a loan on Alchemix using Al ETH. Uh, we spent about an hour trying to do it, but the, all the mintable Al ETH has been minted. Then we tried to do it on the DAI side of the Alchemix lending market, and that was all tapped out as well. And we figured uh, it wouldn't make much of a tutorial to do that, so we kind of regrouped, and we have now found a new tutorial which is very relevant today, and that is how to revoke permissions on Polygon in the light of what has been happening in the last 24 hours. If you were keeping an eye on this, you might have noticed that there were some weird things going on the Zappermatic Polygon bridge. <clears throat> Here's this tweet from Oasis on app. They say, alert, if you have allowances set up for DAI on Zappa Polygon Bridge, please revoke these for now. We're seeing users whose funds get swept through this bridge. And yeah, basically there was some, yeah, there was some weird things going on and people were having their funds swept. Now I think that those funds will be returned at some point, but I, I was aware of a bunch of people who were having some problems with that. And so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna basically show you how to um, set up your approvals for Polygon and then revoke permissions as per your wallet. Not too difficult, but that is how we're going to save the tutorial today. Hope that helps. First though, message from our sponsors. We all know the feeling of paying high fees and waiting for transactions to confirm with interacting with DeFi, don't we? Well, think of it no more. If you go to Solana, they've built a fast censorship resistant blockchain where you can build and use crypto apps that scale today. The network supports thousands of transactions per second with fees less than a cent and over 500 validators. To learn more, head on over to solana.com forward slash defiant to get started building and join its rapidly expanding community. Now, question for you. Do you remember your first DeFi transaction? After juggling a gazillion tabs on your browser, you probably gaze at that Etherscan confirmation feeling like you had just contributed to the future of finance. Except you probably got greatly lost in a world of gas prices, vaults, pulls, half hogs to gens, and sushi chefs. It's a little bit intimidating. But fortunately, Xerion has built the dream tool for managing your portfolio. Track all your token balances across wallets and chains, access every kind of DeFi asset, including indexes, pools, and yield strategies, and trade at the cheapest rates with no extra fees. And that's because Xerion sources liquidity from every decentralized exchange like Uniswap, Xerox, and OneInch. There's no sign-up required, no fees, and a blissfully easy UI. Simply connect your wallet at app.xerion.com. So, how are we going to do this? If we do want to revoke permissions <clears throat> to our Polygon wallet for anything that might be wanting to spend them, um, how do you do it? Well, it's not immediately obvious. If you want to do it on um, Ethereum, for instance, <clears throat> you will need to use ETH Allowance, which is James Sangali's <clears throat> excuse me, repository on GitHub that allows you to do that. I haven't actually used it myself, but I know that it exists, and I know that it's relatively straightforward to do so. But how are we going to do that on Polygon? Well, fortunately, there is a little resource on Polygon Scan that we can use to do exactly that. It does say it's in beta, but it should effectively work. So what you need to do is go to polygonscan.com, and then we're going to go to this little tab here, MISC, and it'll give you a few different things here, but the one we want is token approvals, which you'll see is in beta. I'm going to click on that, and then we need to paste in an address uh, that's your wallet address that will then read to discover which tokens have been approved. So if I click on that now and search, it's going to give me a list of the uh, contracts that have been approved by my account. So let's go down this list. Uh, this is really wild because I, I you kind of forget how many token approvals you set up. Now, for instance, here I've got Krill. I'm not sure I particularly want to keep Krill there. So I'm going to revoke that. So if I go across to this little purple thing here, it says connect the address owner's wallet to revoke approval. Now, just before we go any further, I can look at the token approvals for any wallet that I want. I actually did this earlier and I looked at them up for this particular wallet uh, just to see what it, what it would look like if I pasted someone else's wallet in. And obviously if I want to revoke the permissions, I would have to connect my actual wallet to do so and I can't. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that now. Uh, for Krill. So what I need to do is connect my wallet to the Matic network and then up here a little button says connect to Web3. And I'm now gonna connect with MetaMask. <clears throat> I am now connected, which means I will be able to. 
So now what I need to do is connect to Web3 again. It's, for some reason, you have to click on this button again. But now it flashes up a little pop-up which says, please note that this is a beta version feature and is provided on an as-is and as-available basis. Polygon Scan does not give any warranties and will not be liable for any loss, direct or indirect, through continued use of this feature. All right, then. Um, so there we go. <clears throat> I am now connected. And hopefully I should be able to then, yes, click to revoke. That is available now. And yep, that's exactly what I want to do. I can now confirm that, and it's nice and cheap. And that's it. Done. Just need to let that do its thing. Okay, so that's done. Now, if I refresh the page, that Krill token approval is gone. It's just gone. So I want to do the same thing to this one. I have to continually connect to Web3, revoke, Yes, please. Confirm. Wait for that to confirm finally, and then it will be gone. So that's basically how you can maintain a little bit of hygiene over your permissions. And I think it's definitely worth doing so in the light of what's been happening with the bridge. I'm not sure exactly what did happen here. There was a note from, there was a tweet from Zappa. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, let's see if we can find the Zappa tweet that specifically referenced this. Okay, here we are. So they said, yesterday we discovered a vulnerability in our old Polygon Bridge smart contract that would allow an attacker to steal funds that had unlimited approvals. Uh, we exploited that vulnerability ourselves and all the funds have been rescued. A post-mortem will follow soon. If you previously had an infinite approval for the bridge contract, you will see a prompt on Zappa to revoke. If you do not see anything, you are not affected by the vulnerability. I'm just going to have a look actually and see if I was. I don't think I was. Uh, nothing there at the moment. Oh, look, you can see my deposit on Alchemix that we could do nothing with. Shame. And... Uh, yeah, so I don't appear to have been affected, but if you were affected and you need to revoke permissions, if we now refresh that page, crit is gone. So that's how you do it. It's a beta resource, so obviously, you know, just be very careful with what you're doing here, but that is a very, very simple way to do it. It actually would be really nice to see that built into Etherscan, wouldn't it? But uh, let's see if that happens. Anyway, that was today's tutorial. I hope it was useful. I'm sorry we weren't able to do Alchemix, but if you have any suggestions for tutorials, something you'd like to see, drop us a note in the comments below. And until next time, have a great week. Bye.